Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. In the upper, in, or sorry, bottom right hand corner, we have Tim starting as the red Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Royal Blue as the yellow Terran. This is LA Lan. Gonna say what's up to everybody out in Streamland, including I Lurk Your Stream, who just said hello at me. I'm gonna give another big shout out to Zva for getting me the Starcon LA Lan logo, which I freaking love. And this looks like it is on a Polypoid once again. What is. I wonder if how they manage... Is that just like how it always does it? Whatever. Know that that's there. Know that that's there. So round one, Royal Blue ended up taking down Shafir, who, in my opinion, is a pretty solid Protoss player. He may be a bit out of practice, but that took me by surprise, to be honest. And I haven't seen Royal Blue... I'm not a top-level ladder guy, so I don't see these guys. And honestly, just between casting and taking care of my daughter, I don't have time to play the game all that much. I'm a watcher. You know what they say, those who can't do cast, I guess. But, uh, Pylon warping in here for Tim. But, point being, Royal Blue showing some good play here and looking very strong. Tim, we've I've seen him out in uh, the Coach People League CPL. And from what I know of him, he is a pretty solid Protoss player. I, From what I know in my brain of like the ladder rankings and whatnot, Shafir, I believe, ranks above Tim. He's going to go gateway into a simulator here. So we'll see how this plays out. In the meantime, Royal is going to go ahead and set up for a front door seal, put his opponent in the dark, and let's see if that leads into a two factory play. Grabbing that refinery as quickly as he can. Certainly not going to be one racks into expansion here. And we'll also see how Tim opts to play this, whether he's going to go for the... So he looks like he's going to drop the cybernetic score. So it looks like he wants to go Dragoons and skip the Zealots right off the bat. Sending out our initial probe scout. SCV is going to head to the upper left-hand corner first. Pylon being dropped near that natural expansion. So it is possible that he's hoping to go for a lower gateway count and a faster expansion as far as a follow-up. In the meantime, Royal, so upon... Uh, Feeling that lack of pressure is just... No, he's going to go ahead and lift that up, get that SCV back here, and drop the Supply Depot to get the full seal. So the probe's going to go a long distance to more or less find nothing. First factor down, the single SCV in gas, so it doesn't look like there is going to be any sort of push pressure. This may just be a play to... So probably hoping just to go factory before expansion and wanted to just not have to worry about initial zealot pressure. Produce fewer troops to deal with it and maybe even save himself a bunker. We'll see. Range being upgraded. First Dragoon out on the field. Still no scout, and now a cross scout for Royal is going to come across to his opponent's base. If that Dragoon makes a rush towards that ramp and just holds position, should be able to stop this ICV, but it looks like it is going to go ahead and meander down. Yeah, getting initial... Oh, that's unfortunate. So getting one initial shot, but going to go ahead and drop it from there. And it looks like this is going to be one barracks into expansion as Tim moving that probe down the line. Three Marines moving towards the low ground. Two SCVs to guard as well, that one Marine having some trouble regrouping. Machine shot being dropped. The SCV back on gas. Greeting that Dragoon. Going to go ahead with the three. So three Marines sufficient to go ahead and take out a Dragoon's going to pressure here, but that Dragoon going to try to micro back Rats what it can, that SCV getting an eyeful in the meantime. So able to confirm the build on the opposite corner. Some nice bit of harassment there by Tim to get some shots off on that SCV. And range is going to kick online. Once range comes online, it's a lot harder for those Marines and everything else to, to deal with this Dragoon. Although Tim having some trouble before that's coming online. Getting some good damage on a couple of those troops. Command center being built. Siege take being produced as well. SCV finally being escorted outside of the base, but pretty much sees everything he needs to see. I think saw the second gateway, saw the range, saw the nexus. Robotic, uh, robotics facility being dropped behind this. This feels like old school, classic TVP right here with the factory into, I assume, siege tech. Dragoon's harassing the front with that range. Actually, no SCVs pulling off the line to defend this. So that bunker might go down. Single SCV pausing that command center. Some Marines hopping out of the bunker to try to draw fire, but that's not sufficient to keep that bunker up. Second SCV finally coming to join. 
Third Dragoon going to move up to the front as well. But actually, once these three Dragoons hop back on, a single Siege Tank might not be sufficient to push them back. Siege Tech just being researched. And that Siege Tank also is going to need to be careful that it doesn't get picked off. See, you gotta, yeah, find that right range, though, is the other trick of it. They don't have range upgraded, I assure you. Engineering Bay up to potentially respect uh, Dark Templar, etc. Command Center's been delivered. That feels like it just, yeah, it was a lot later than it would have been otherwise. So, but two gate robo to follow, or sorry, two gate observatory to follow for Tim. She needs to believe he's just going to go for the Dragoon Contain. Continue to peck away at this. Actually, the Dragoons, bit of mist micro, it feels like. I think for a moment there, the Dragoons were starting to make their way into that natural expansion. And I don't think that's the angle he wanted. Four Dragoons on the front still... So two Siege Tanks. Siege Tank is finished. Siege Tank up on the high ground. And Tim having... He didn't cancel range, right? Yeah, range is there. Having some trouble microing those Dragoons against this forward bunker. Now the three Siege Tanks along that rear is going to go ahead and confirm. Yeah, it's also possible that he just wanted to peek that Dragoon in. Yeah, it should be mentioned that he wanted to peek that Dragoon into one. See if there was a command center and also see if that gas was grabbed. <coughs> As of yet. Royal actually sticking to one factory currently. Which leads me to believe he's maybe going to try to play that three base play. Float out, take that mineral only, and go for the 200 or 200. In the meantime, Tim has already grabbed that Nexus. That first observer floating out has grabbed his second gas. Decent pylon start to build a pylon wall, but between the Dragoons he's got and everything else, honestly, what it's going to take from Royal to grab that third is he's going to have to bully Tim away from that third base. We'll see if he drops a second factory, second machine shop to have a higher siege tank count to make that happen. Two additional gateways plopping down for Tim. Tim in a really good position. Big worker lead. He's going to have that third online in nice position. He slowed down that command center quite a bit of time. <coughs> I've still got a little bit of a cough. I'll tell you, for a vaccination, the effects of it have just been lasting absolutely forever. It's really annoying. And I took an, another COVID test to be like, am I sure this isn't COVID? It's not COVID. Anyway, machine shop is being dropped in a third factory being tacked on it. Looks like he's going to go up to a four factory count, which kind of gives him that hybrid situation where he can opt to build troops to go for a third, but he can also build troops to uh, potentially go for a more aggressive attack. Plus one weapons is being upgraded. Had an instinct it was down here. I need to remember, is it control I? Yes. There. Control I, so you guys can see the, the uh, armory spinning in all of its glory and know that I'm not just messing with you. Wondering if players put it down there sometimes, they're like, we're going to mess with the commentator and put it down there where he can't quite see it. Forge spinning on plus one weapons already, though. Support bait being skipped, Templar Archives and Stargate being dropped to go ahead and make movements towards Arbiter Tech. And actually, with this efficient lead and this pile of trooping, especially if Zealot Leg Speed, yeah, just about finished, this is going to be a hard break for Royal. And Tim can delay this third base for quite a period of time. Mines and Vulture Speed being grabbed on. I think Royal recognizes it, so he's going to go up to a six factory count to push heavily into this. Maybe try to find a plus one timing. It looks like Tim, with that observer positioning, not able to... I like the placement of these factories as well, because Tim might be under the... Cause, so he's shown the two factories and the two machine shops here, but potentially because of the turret placement has maybe is maybe going to catch Tim off guard where he doesn't whoops that is the darkness on the minimap uh, is not going to realize the sheer amount of factories that he's coming up against plus one weapons completing Tim does have a supply lead but 20 of that tack down 20 so that means the troop count is just about even so yeah he's harvesting a lot but he needs to get yeah and he doesn't have the gateway count to really keep up the zealots however sprinting down getting Perfect movement on those siege tanks, however. And the Dragoon's going to go ahead and press forward and clean up whatever's left. You cannot ask for a better engagement than that. The Zealots moving right as the tanks were sieging. Beautiful play from Tim right there. It's not over yet, though, because yes, this is a lot of Dragoons, and yes, this is a lot of Zealots. Yes, that natural expansion's breached, but keep in mind there's six factories. Never mind. Royal just going to GG it right there. 
not going to bother to try to defend with this production. Probably a wise decision. So game one goes to Tim with some really convincing play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.